Oh, hey guy, welcome to Harley. Come on in. How can I help you live to ride and ride to live? Oh, hey guy, good to meet you. So I was hoping you could help me out. Um, you know, I've had my bike for a little bit and I just, I, I want more power, man. I want more horsepower, I want more torque. I just want that power. What can you do for me? Oh, you want more horsepower? We got more horsepower. Let me tell you, we just came out with the 135 engine. This is a crate engine that you buy from us, $8,000, drops right into your bike. No fabrication needed, everything included. This is going to be your dream. You're just going to pop this in your bike and it is just going to have more power. Yeah! Oh man, that sounds awesome. Look, I got my 2018 Road Glide Special out in the parking lot. I'll bring it into the service center right now. We'll get it all scheduled up and we'll get this done. Oh, this is gonna be so exciting. Oh, you have a 2018? Oh, I'm sorry, no, no, no. This engine's only for 2022 or newer. So you're gonna need a new bike to have this engine. Wait, wait, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I need something newer than a 2018? But why? My 2018 Road Glide Special has like the same transmission, the same like frame, the same mounts, everything's the same. What's, it makes no sense that I would need a 2022 or newer, which uh, newer is a year. So you want me to buy a new bike? Oh, I definitely have a good reason for this. It's uh, reasons. Yeah, reasons. All right, all right, look. I get it, so fine. You want me to buy a new bike. Um, like with this new engine, obviously I'm gonna need some other stuff because that's a lot of power to be handling. Are you gonna be upgrading my suspension? No, no, we didn't upgrade the suspension. Are you gonna be upgrading the transmission? Cause I mean, 130, 135 horsepower to the rear wheel, that's gonna do some damage to that stock transmission you guys got going on in there. No, no, um, it doesn't come with an upgraded transmission. You're just gonna use the stock one or you're gonna have to, I don't know, buy, buy another one separately. All right, all right. What about, uh, can I bring my own tuner? Because uh, I tend to be a big fan of Thunder Max. I'm not so keen on that whole Screaming Eagle thing. No, no, you can't use your own tuner. Actually, that'll violate uh, our terms of agreement and void your warranty. All right, what about uh, head pipe and oil cooler? Because I'm assuming that it's going to have to push more air and like, you know, it's going to be running a little bit hotter. So I would definitely need a better oil cooler. Like that's provided with the engine, right? No, you're going to have to buy an oil cooler from us and you're going to have to buy a head pipe. And if you don't, that actually violates the terms of service and voids the warranty on the engine too. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's extra. Okay, so what you're saying is I'm going to have to spend uh, about $30,000 to get a comparable bike to what I have already. Then I'm going to have to buy a head pipe. I'm going to have to buy an oil cooler. I'm probably going to have to upgrade my transmission because let's be honest, if I stick with that stock one, that thing is going to be trashed in about a month, give or take, unless you know I'm just driving it over to whatever Harley dealership for whatever Thursday night hangout you guys got and sitting in the parking lot to tell people I have a 135 and not actually ride it so i'm going to be spending about 45 to fifty thousand dollars just to get this engine that's 130 horsepower am i correct yeah let me see about thirty thousand for a new bike eight thousand for the engine if you don't know how to install it that's going to cost you the head pipe uh the oil cooler yeah yeah uh around 40 45 000, maybe 50 to get it all said and done depending on your mechanical skills yeah that tracks that tracks Look, man, at this point, why don't I just go get a sports duress? Doesn't that have like 120 horsepower and it comes in at like $17,000 right off the floor? I mean, that seems like a better idea if I just want more horsepower at this rate. Why aren't you going to get a sports duress? Well, it's not a bagger, brah. All right, so why don't I just get the Pan America? That thing is about $25,000 and comes with 150 horsepower. So literally more horsepower right off the floor. I can imagine that I could probably get even more if I tuned the thing. No, 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 same, same reason there. Uh, Pan America, pff, yeah, 20 extra horsepower, but it's not a bagger, brah. All right, all right, all right. You got me, like, got to be a bagger. So why don't I just go out and buy an Indian Challenger? I mean, like, the I could get one for, like, 27,000. That's comparable to mine, and it comes at 120 horsepower. If I throw a Stage 2 on it, then I'm probably going to have more horsepower than this bike. 
What the, the Indian Challenger? Well, um, that's uh, it's because it's not a Harley. That's not an actual reason for not buying a bike. You know that, right? Yes, it is. That is definitely a good reason. That's that is the the best reason. I I took a poll of everyone here, and they all agreed that that is a good reason. No, for real. I don't think that's a reason at all. Seriously, what 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 are you talking about there, dude? One hundred percent of all Harley Davidson sales associates uh, agree that um, because it's not a Harley is definitely a good reason. All right, all right, all right. This is just getting out of control. Why don't I just get a one twenty four big bore kit from like S and S? That's gonna put out like the same horsepower as your one thirty five, and all installed with all the parts is probably gonna come in about half the price of this crate engine. The only difference is I'm not gonna get that stupid little plate that says one thirty five on the side. And quite honestly, you're probably selling that on your website anyway. So if I want to lie about it, I could, and still go just as fast. Big bore kit big bore kit. Let me tell you why you don't use a big bore kit. Look, when you're hanging out in that Dunkin' Donuts parking lot or that Harley Davidson hog meetup, and you're trying to go big dick swinging and showing everyone that your engine is bigger than theirs and you're cooler than they are, that's not going to work when you're there with a 124 or a 128. You need that 135 on the side of the engine. It doesn't even matter how fast it goes. It just has to say it's a 135. Because really, the only way that you're cooler than the next guy is when he comes over and goes, ooh, a 135. This guy definitely has three mortgages out on a single wide. That's impressive. Look, bro, it's starting to sound like you're not really serious about horsepower here. Maybe, maybe uh, this isn't for you. Maybe it's too much horsepower. Maybe, maybe you just can't handle the extreme power of a 135 engine. You can't handle the power of a 135 engine. You seem a little agitated and on edge um maybe a little too much coffee today should i come back later is this a bad time for you yeah yeah i did drink a lot of energy drinks today I, i'm sorry hey guys i hope you enjoyed that one um yeah honestly probably like a lot of you i kind of like hopped on that hype train right out of the gate where i was like oh a 135 that is a pretty baller sized engine that would be cool and then i kind of thought i was like well it's an $8,000 engine and you still have to buy like the head pipe. You still have to buy an oil cooler. Like this is in writing on Harley's website. You have to use their tuner. You have to buy separately their head pipe. You have to buy separately their oil cooler. And if you don't do that, if you don't do those things, you void the warranty on the engine right out of the gate. So like they're keeping this super EPA compliant and they're locking it down as much as possible. You can literally go get big bore kits that could blow this thing away, no problem. And if you have a 114 or a 117, there are already companies out there making bigger engines than this that come with warranties, like big bore kits or even like bolting kits. So this is just, this is silly. This, uh, again, this is Harley kind of like missing the mark. And it's a little funny to me because the 131, has been around for a little bit and the 131 seems to have a lot of issues i've heard so many horror stories about that and i don't think they've really fixed those so to just make it bigger <laughs> doesn't seem very smart and when you watch the hype video behind it they say a lot of the stuff that's uh, like made up the 131 has moved over to the 135 including like this like cylinders and stuff like that and from what i understand the cylinder walls and the pistons are some of the first things to go defective and like blow up in this engine. So yeah, let's make those cylinder walls thinner and those pistons bigger. What what could go wrong, I guess? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's Harley. This is what they do. I guess time will tell. You can't just say, well, it's on the track because let's be honest, you throw this bike on the track for you know, a couple hours, it drives in a circle for, you know, whatever amount of time the King of the Baggers is. They take it off the track, they tear down the engine, they rebuild it, and they send it back out. There's nothing long-term about any of the testing that's been going on with these things, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Throw your comments down below. And don't forget to like 
comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, share this video with friends, share it with family, share it with that one dork you know who wants to spend like almost 10 grand to drop a crate engine that's gonna get blown away by somebody with a 124 big board kit. He loves this stuff, trust me. And I'll see you all on the flip side.